Rarely is Shadow Priest going to be the second spec I do anything on, but I did have a lot of fun on this one. Shadow plays this a little bit differently than it did. Certainly in Legion, can't really remember too much about Shadowlands, honestly. But here we go. We're going to skip the Karen phase because that shit is boring. Race is going to be kind of the same deal. Like Boomy, like Frost, right? We want to kite the edge under him pretty much the whole time uh, to maximize any splash damage we have. Uh, certainly, Shadow Crash, you do want to wait until the second set of Ag comes up, or every other set, rather, just so you can get every set dotted. Otherwise, you're going to have a set running around. Shadowy Fiend is also not a bad target to dot up, especially if you're like Unfurling Darkness, and you're going to have either something to proc another quick set of dots or or something to spend that proc on. Race comes up, and we're not really spending any time with him. We're not dragging anything out. I probably don't hold anything at any point. That said, Shadow actually does have a pretty easy time of this challenge when it comes to the hands. All the hands tend to be the same-ish health, like within a few hundred of each other. It's like not a big deal. But Shadow just demolishes them. An Insanity Channel, Void Torrent, like one-shots them. Even Unfurling Darkness, if like that follow-up crits, it just does. They just fall over. So I didn't take any cooldown reduction on Silence. I didn't feel the need to. And since we are going to be killing Race, like he's going to be out of the show. Well, we still have like 250k left to go on Race. So we're not really playing to deal with hands. I'm going to fight like five hands total, maybe. Again, we've, uh, we'll discuss the talents in the other video, but you see those echoing collapse, just like the corruption, right? Echoing void. All that AOE damage just collapsing on top of race. This is free damage as long as you're going to get the ads under them. And then also, you know, the AOE themselves while you do it. Which is great. Look at all them ghosts. And while, you know, Mind Flay is cool because it does pretty much mean he's never going to get to you, it's like your fourth worst ability and you don't really want to be spending a lot of kite time channeling into Karam, right? Like, we're going to drag him around, try to redot race because we're not so bad. This is going to be fear into a disperse. Ooh. Also, Karam does give you a second, like, to pray to God, like Scar does, before he chops your head off. And I think that happens one more time to me boom and also uh, we'll talk again about the talents but there's a talent that buffs your mind blast when you have devouring plague and your other two dots on the target so always just throw that plague out before you start dpsing a hand if you, if you run that another close situation here but kind of that 6k health like you see a little bar, that's not much. He <laughs> would have meleeed me right there. Ooh, boy, you could take one at full, like one uppercut, like for with angelic bulwark procking. At this point, we're dealing like with race and like 5x damage shadow bolts. I think they do 3k a pop. So you're going to be power word shielding yourself. We have the, that holy nova, like build up proc, actually does. A little bit of healing. Mind games will also prevent slash reverse a lot of the damage going out. And again, we want all these ads to kind of get back in the middle. So we're just going to run through boss a little bit here. Also, to note, if you are soaking, you know, the thing from beyond lift soaks, your little uh, Yassage man and some of you guys can soak them just like they can for Frost Mage. But since you can't control where they are, if they're not already in it, there's nothing you can do about it. But just always be flash healing yourself. We have increased output on flash heal from dot ticks. You can see that stacks up pretty fast. We're not waiting for that or anything. It's just a nice passive increase to our uh, flash light. And you can see how bad I am at the spec. I let dots fall off multiple times. I'm mostly just trying to stay alive and keep the ads where they need to be. Because at this point, I'm not looking to be e efficient per se. Well, that's the wrong word. I'm not looking to be the very best. I'm looking to live global to global. And there's uh, Power Word Life or Holy Word Life, whatever that's called. And then dispersing even as a, a movement speed increases, like just a very nice versatile tool, right? It can be a heal, it can be a DR, it can be movement speed. And it doesn't feel like those uses cannibalize each other. So cool class. We're going to do a video on the talents and gear and stuff like that.
Guys, I want to thank you for watching. We'll catch you tomorrow in the next one.